Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be reading a Magic Treehouse book, and it's number 17, Tonight on the Titanic. I have read like one through like the cowboy one, I think it was 10, so we're just going to read 17, by Mary Pope Osborne. Contents, prologue and remission, the unsinkable ship, SOS, put your put on your life belts, Wolf and Lucy, woman and children first, the gift, every man for himself, time stops, and the touch of magic. Tonight on the Titanic, prologue, one day in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania, a mysterious treehouse appeared in the woods. Eight-year-old Jack and his seven-year-old sister Annie climbed into the treehouse. They found that it was filled of, with books. Jack and Annie soon discovered that the treehouse was magic. It could take them places in the books. It could take them. It could take them to the places in the books. All they had to do is just point to the picture and wish to go there. Along the way, they discovered that the, the treehouse belongs to Morgan Lee Fay. Morgan is a magical librarian from the king, from the, from the time of King Arthur. She travels through time and space, gathering books. In Magic Treehouse books 5 through 8, Jack and Annie helped Morgan prep a spell. In books 9 through 12, they solved an ancient riddles from the master librarians. In Magic Treehouse books 13 through, 6, 13 through 16, Jack and Annie had to save four ancient stories from being lost forever. Now, in book 17, they're about to begin a new set of adventures. Chapter 1 A New Mission Jack opened his eyes. It was a stormy night. The rain tapped hard on his window pane. Do you hear what the rain is saying? said a voice. Jack turned on his lamp. Annie stood in his doorway. She wore a rain poncho over her pajamas and held a flashlight. It's saying, Come now, she said. You're nuts, said Jack. Listen. Just listen, said Annie. Jack listened. The rain did seem to be tapping out. Come now. Come now. Come now. We have to go to the treehouse, said Annie. Something important is about to happen. Now, said Jack. Jack didn't want to leave his warm, cozy room, but he had a feeling Annie was right. Something important was about to happen. You're coming, she said. Yeah, yeah, he said. He climbed out of bed. Just put on your rain poncho, said Annie. Jack threw his rain poncho, ov rain poncho over his pajamas. He pulled on his sneakers and grabbed his backpack. Don't forget your master librarian, librarian card, said Annie. I have mine with me. Jack put the card with glowing letters ML onto, into his backpack. I'm ready, he said. Jack and Annie went quickly down the stairs. They slipped out the door into the chilly, damp night. The storm has eased up. Rain fell gently as they ran up the street. The wet ground glistened in the beam of the flashlight. They headed into the Frog Creek woods. Wind blew through the trees, shaking water to the ground. Jack shivered. He wiped the raindrops off his glasses. Here's the picture. Annie's right here, Jack is right there. Their sneakers are the same. Wow. Mm. 
Brr, said Annie, I'm cold. Me too, said Jack. As they kept walking, Annie pointed to the pointed the flashlight up to into the trees. There it is, she said. Her light had found the tree house. Morgan, Jack called. There was no answer. I wonder what's wrong, said Annie. I'm sure she'd be here. Let's go up and see, said Jack. Annie grabbed the rope ladder and started climbing. Jack followed. Rain dripped the rain dripped from the trees onto his poncho. They climbed into the tree house. Annie shined her light into each corner. The first three corners were empty. Then the flashlight hit beam hit the fourth. Jack and Andy gasped of surprise. Sitting in the corner was a small dog. He looked like a terror terrier puppy. He had scruffy light brown full fur. He star he stared sadly at Jack and Annie. Oh whispered Annie. There's the cute little dog. You know what? That kind of looks like a person. Time for the next page. Where did you come from, said Jack. Annie patted the dog's head. He wagged his tail. He's so cute, she said. He looks like a little teddy bear. Hi, Teddy. <laughs> teddy was actually a good name for him, Jack thought. Where did you come from, Teddy? he asked. The little dog whimpered. Don't be sad, said Annie. Everything's okay. How did you get up here? Jack asked. I don't know, but I bet Morgan had something to do with this, said Annie. Jack, Jack's gaze fell out on a piece of paper lying on the floor. I think you're right, he said. He picked up the paper. On it was fancy writing that said, "The little dog's, the little dog is under a spell and needs your help. To free him, you must be, you must be given four special things: a gift from a ship lost at sea, a gift from a prairie blue." A gift from a forest far away, a gift from a kangaroo. Be wise, be brave, be careful. Morgan. P.S. Your master librarian cards won't help on this mission. Just be yourselves and we'll be well. And all will be well. What kind of spell do you think Teddy is under? Said Annie. Who knows, said Jack. Poor Teddy. Thing, said Annie. She patted the dog's head. He licked her hand. It, it looks like we have to take four trips, said Jack. Teddy trotted over to a book. He pushed it with his nose. Look, said Annie. I bet that will take us to our first trip. She picked up the book that the little dogs had chosen. Good job, Teddy, she said. The title of the book was The Unsinkable Ship. Well, at least that's good, said Jack. The ship won't sink. The ship won't sink, even if it is lost. Ready, Teddy? asked Annie. Arf, arf, he answered. Jack pointed to the cover of the book. I wish we could go there. He said, the wind started to blow. The tree house started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still.